believe the nerve on that girl? Yes, I'm talking about the cashier. Sarah the bitch. The way she was always looking at you up and down with her pervy little eyes while she scanned your items. Well, you're obviously with your girlfriend, no less. That stupid skank has no shame. You're mine. You're obviously mine. You smell like my perfume. And you know, at just the right angle, you can see what I left on your neck. Oh, really? You think she was just being professional? Please. She was obviously flirting. I knew that girl from high school. She only does that stupid, ugly laugh when she's making her sleazy little passes at someone. And besides, the way she just casually mentioned how she was single while making supposed professional small talk, that's not a thing that normal people do. I mean, I know I'm not exactly an authority on normal people things since I stalked you for a bit before we got together, but you know I'm right. And she's single for a reason, you know. None of her exes could put up with her bullshit for long. I don't blame them. And she even mentioned her age, too. Like, what the hell? That's not small talk. That's flirting with you, the love of my life. I'm the one who should say anything even remotely flirty to you. And by the way, she lied about her age, you know? Subtracted a few years. She's such a dirty liar. And I'm honestly surprised she wasn't even wearing the correct name tag. Oh, I can't believe her. I wonder if she locks her door. Uh, hey, baby, could you look at me? Look at my eyes. I need to be healed. <sighs> That's the stuff. You have such beautiful eyes, sweetheart. I could look into them forever. They're the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Did you know that? Well, you must know it, since I'm prone to blowing up your phone with messages telling you how gorgeous they are. Can't blame me there. Well, okay, maybe you can, but don't. Uh, they really are so pretty, though. You're so pretty, I sort of wish you could wear shades outside. I get so jealous that anyone other than me looks in your eyes. It tears me apart that you show the most beautiful part of yourself to others. For the entire world to see. You're mine. You belong to me. I mean that respectfully, of course. But, seriously, you really do belong to me. I'm the only one who should be looking into your eyes. No one else. No other girl. Especially not that skank, Sarah. <sighs> I'm still so upset. I'm pretty sure that's her car parked by the front. I could slash her tires, but not with all these cameras. Ugh! I wonder if there are so many of these cameras by her house. N never mind. Baby, thanks for healing me. Looking in your eyes really does that, but I still need you to heal me more. Could you be good for me and... Hold my hand. <sighs> there we go, baby. Shh, no, it's okay. Your hand doesn't feel sweaty. It feels perfect. It feels just perfect to me. The hand of the most wonderful person in the world. My one and only sweetheart. Thank you so much. You're being so good to me, baby. You know just how to treat me right. You're so precious. That's why I have to keep you all to myself, sweetheart. I can't leave you to other girls. Especially not to ones like Sarah. They'll only hurt you. Hey, you... You love me, and not 
Sarah, right? She's a horrible girl and a horrible girlfriend. She's done nothing but complain about every lover she's had, and she'd complain about you too, even though she was always the problem. <sighs> she complains that they're cheap when she's just a gold digger. She complains that they're clingy when she's the one who's unreasonably distant. She even has the gall to call them superficial when she's the one who really fits the bill. But I know you're not any of those horrible things, sweetheart. You always treat me so right. And I know to appreciate that. That's why you love being mine. Right, sweetheart? Because I treat you right, right back. Because you of all people know how much of a pleasure it is to be mine. My mark on your neck can attest to that. You'll be happiest staying as mine, so and don't forget that. Okay, baby? Be good and don't forget it. Now, could you be good for me and tell me that you love me and not Sarah? Mm, thank you so much, baby. One more time, please. Oh, you're so good to me. You're the greatest. One more time. Just one more time, I promise. Just give it to me one more time, baby. I just need to hear it one more time. <laughs> oh, you're perfect. You're flawless. I don't know what I'd do to deserve having you. You're so precious, I don't ever want to let you out of my sight. I love you. I love everything about you, baby. I really do. Not like Sarah. Do you think that superficial bitch would love everything about you like I do? She doesn't even know what love is. She could never compare to the love as deep and intense as the one I have for you. <sighs> I love everything about you. I love your laugh. I know you're a little insecure about it, but <laughs> to me, it really is the cutest laugh in the entire world. How could it not be when it's yours? I keep recordings of it on hand just so I can replay it. It's that good. And I love it so much that I get so jealous when anyone but me hears it. And I love the face you make when you're sleeping. I always used to sneak in to see it, remember? You always look so cute and peaceful when you sleep. It makes me want to protect your sleeping, no matter what. Like, I should just get up and completely murder anything that even remotely tries to disrupt your sleep. I just have to protect you at all costs. To that extent. And that's just how you make me feel, baby. <laughs> and I love the way your hand feels in mine when we're locking fingers like this. It makes me feel like you're truly mine. And you are truly mine, of course. But holding your hand like this really gives me... Uh, gives me that feeling. Like I've got you just where I want you. You're not going to get away from me. Not while I have my very hand on you. Not that you'd want to get away, of course. Because you were meant to be mine. What would you do without me? You'd be lost without me. I always protect you. I always protect you from your loneliness. I protect you from your bad little thoughts. All those bad little thoughts that tell you that you're not worth it. I make sure to always let you know that you are. Don't I, baby? 
You're worth my love and affection, my attention. I let you know with every part of myself. Whenever you feel lost, I hug you. And I tell you it's okay to feel lost. I tell you it's okay. It's okay, baby. Because I'm here. I'm here to guide you and support you and sometimes if you don't know what to think or do, you can always rely on me and I'll think for you and do what's best for you. You can trust me, baby, because I love you so much that my very life depends on you. And that stupid slut, Sarah, would never do any of that for you. Because Sarah's a dirty little whore who can only think about herself. And no one else. But I only think of you. Sorry. I know I'm coming back to Sarah a lot here. I know you already assured me that you love me and not her. I, I know I really should have just dropped it already. It's just that my relationship with you is the sweetest thing in the world, and she's trying to destroy that. She's trying to take joy out of both of our lives. It makes me hate her so much. She deserves to be hated. It makes me think that... It makes me think of what I could do to her. Like what I could... What I could leave in her mailbox. Anything I do to her, she deserves worse. Really. Oh, I hate it when girls try to take away what's mine. Why are they always trying to interfere? You're mine. You belong to me. I'm the one who takes care of you when you're sick. The one who comforts you when you're stressed. And I'm the one who keeps you company on lonely nights. I'm the one who cares for you like this. It's... That's... That's what makes you mine. You're mine because it's the right thing for you. And you're only mine. Isn't that right, baby? Tell me, who do you belong to? You only belong to me, right? Right, right. That's right. Oh, you only belong to me. That's... Thanks for saying it, baby. Obviously you're mine, but... I just really like hearing you say it. <laughs> you're so good to me, sweetheart. I should really reward you. When we get home, you can ask me for anything you want. And I'll give you whatever you ask for. No matter what. I won't say no. And I really mean anything. Ugh! I can't believe this bitch. Look! She's staring at us from out the window. Way to kill the mood. Can't she mind her own damn business? She has no business looking at us. And she definitely has no business looking at you. Ugh! <sighs> Wait, I have an idea. Hey, baby. <laughs> you know what really get under Sarah's skin? Since she's watching us. <laughs> How about a kiss? <laughs>